right, welcome back, everybody. We are back again with episode three of season seven of Game of Thrones. So, where were we last episode? Oh, John just had that he was so low, sleep the nearest. You gotta speak up a little bit. You're talking really low this morning. Oh, John decided he going to go see Daenerys. See Daenerys. Uh, he left Sansa in charge. In charge. Yeah. He also strangled Lord Baelish. Oh, yeah. Too bad he didn't kill him. Uh, Dion. <laughs> Dion. Oh, yeah. You're on the attack. Dion's attack the uncle boats. attacked their boats. Uh, the Doran daughters, the two got killed, and then the captured mom, and the, I'm thinking she's the youngest daughter. Yeah. And let me see what else happened. Arya uh, found out that John is king in the north and is probably heading back to Winterfell. Um, Ran into her old dire wolf. Yeah. Well, and um, what else happened? You were to say it, but you just chimed sorry in. And, inter- sorry to break your th- train of thought. Please don't start with me this morning. Um, what else? I forget what else. Don't tell us on the replay. I am sort of tipping my tongue. Go ahead. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah, Sam decided to do the experiment. Oh, yeah, he was. Debriding. Yeah. Sir Jorah. Masala? Masala? Kill us! <laughs> I may have found a way to treat Sir Jorah. Please try not to scream. This is Brandon Stark. Oh, I forgot about him. Oh, yeah. Let's get them inside. Summon Jon Snow. You'd make a valuable ally. Let him stand before you and tell you the things that have happened to him. Dragonstone sits on a mountain of dragonglass. We can never hope to defeat the army of the dead alone. We need allies. You're abandoning your people. You're abandoning your home. Until I return, the North is yours. Yeah. The bastard of Winterfell, the dwarf of Casterly Rock. Maybe <laughs> we lost each other at the top of the wall. Picked up some scars along the road. It's been a long road. But we're both still here. I'm Tyrion Lannister. That was Seaworth. Ah, the Onion Knight. And Sandy is the Queen's most trusted advisor. Welcome to Dragonstone. Our queen knows this is a long journey. She appreciates the efforts you have made on her behalf. If you wouldn't mind handing over your weapons. Hmm. No. Of course. So y'all hand y'all. Let's see how that's fair. Please, this way. This place has changed. <laughs> Why they take that little small boat? I guess they can't. They can't dock a big boat on the beach, so came in on a ship and then rode in on a little rowboat. Yeah, but I'm saying, why did they take their boat? Oh, I don't know. Also, then she lets on. She's starting to let on. <laughs> At some point, I want to hear how a Night's Watch recruit became king in the north. As long as you tell me how a Lannister became hand to Daenerys Targaryen. My bannermen think I'm a fool for coming in. Of course they do. If I was your hand, I would have advised against it. General rule of thumb. Stark men don't fare well when they travel south. True. But I'm not a Stark. Uh, are you freaking serious? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> To them, but you never really do. Come, 
The mother is waiting for you. <laughs> like, she did dump her. I wondered why you weren't there to meet our guests. I've done my part. I've brought ice and fire together. You spoke so highly of Jon Snow, but when he arrives, you hide on a cliff. I did not part on good terms with the King of the North or his advisor. Why? Because of mistakes I made. Terrible mistakes. If you don't mind my saying, I don't think you should return. I'm not sure you'd be safe here. Hmm. I will return, dear spider. One last time. My lady. I have to die in this strange country. Just like you. <laughs> she just forced so y'all did. <laughs> you don't like them red priestess. <laughs> Bend the knee. You bend the knee. He fought in a war. You ain't did nothing. Really? Besides burn a couple people. Daenerys Stormborn of House Targaryen. Rightful heir to the Iron Throne. Rightful queen of the Andals and the First Men. Protector of the Seven Kingdoms. The mother of dragons. The Khaleesi of the Great Grass Sea. The Unburnt. The Breaker of Chains. You gotta have all the names behind you. <laughs> you really ain't he the crazy. This is Jon Snow. He's king in the north. <laughs> Thank you for traveling so far, my lord. Because we ain't gonna have no big names. But Jon Snow is king in the north, your grace. He's not a lord. But I could have sworn I read the last king in the north was Torrin Stark, who bent the knee to my ancestor, Aegon Targaryen. Oh, okay, stare her. I might. She gonna fall. She gonna fall. Cause she too high mighty. She gonna fall. You've traveled all this way to break faith with House Targaryen? Break faith? Your father burned my grandfather alive. He burned my uncle alive. He would have burned the Seven Kingdoms. My father was an evil man. <laughs> On behalf of House Targaryen, I ask your forgiveness for the crimes he committed against your family. And I ask you not to judge a daughter by the sins of her father. Why are you doing it, Benny? I am the last Targaryen, Jon Snow. Honor the pledge your ancestor made to mine. Bend the knee, and I will name you Warden of the North. Hmm. Just like her highness. It's gonna fall. She gonna fall. You're right. You're not guilty of your father's crime. And I'm not beholden to my ancestors' vows. Then <laughs> why are you here? Because I need your help, and you need mine. Did you see three dragons flying overhead when you arrived? <laughs> Did you see the Dothraki? They're hard to miss. But still, I need your help. Not to defeat Cersei. You could storm King's Landing tomorrow and the city would fall. But you haven't stormed King's Landing. <laughs> yeah, little man. You don't want to kill thousands of innocent people. It's the fastest hmm. way to win the war, but you won't do it. Which means, at the very least, you're better than Cersei. Still, that doesn't explain why I need your help. Because right now, you and I and Cersei and everyone else, we're children playing at a game screaming that the rules aren't fair. You told me you liked this man. I do. In the time since he's met me, he's refused to call me queen. He yeah, shut up. Oh, he's calling me a child. I believe he's- Because you are. Cause you are. Your Grace, everyone you know will die before winter's over if we don't defeat the enemy to the north. As far as I can see, you are the enemy to the north. I am not your enemy. The dead are the enemy. The dead? Is that another figure of speech? The army of the dead is on the march. The army of the dead. Shut up, Tyrion. You ain't seen nothing. Me well, my lord, but do you think I'm a liar or a madman? No, I don't think you're either of those things. The army of the dead is real. The White Walkers are real. The Night King is real. I've seen them. If they get past the wall and we're squabbling amongst ourselves, we're finished. <laughs> I was born at Dragonstone. Not that I can remember it. We fled before Robert's assassins could find us. Robert was your father's best friend, no? Yeah. Here we're going into the past. Assassins to murder a baby girl in her crib. Yeah, he told him to stop it. So many men have tried to kill me. I don't remember all their names. I have been sold like a brood mare. I've been shamed and betrayed. Do you know what kept me standing through all those years in exile? And you want to be queen? Faith. 
No, I did. You want to be queen? <laughs> I was born to rule the Seven Kingdoms, and I will. Hmm. Now what to do, people? You'll be ruling over a graveyard if we don't defeat the Night King. You don't believe him. I understand that. It sounds like nonsense. But if destiny has brought Daenerys Targaryen back to our shores, it has also made Jon Snow king in the north. He was named Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. He was named king in the north. Not because of his birthright. He has no birthright. He's a damn bastard. All those hard sons of bitches chose him as their leader because they believe in him. <laughs> he faced those things. He fought those things for the good of his people. He risked his life for his people. He took a knife in the heart for his people. He gave his own... Yeah. <laughs> Wait. If we don't put aside our enmities and band together, we will die. And then it doesn't matter whose skeleton sits on the Iron Throne. Hmm. Oh, shut up. And together our armies will protect the North. There's no time for that. There's no time for any of this. While we stand here debating... It takes no time to bend the knee. Pledge your sword to her cause. And why would I do that? Her. Her call, yeah. No offense, your grace, but I don't know you. As far as I can tell, your claim to the throne rests entirely on your father's name, and my own father fought to overthrow the Mad King. The Lords of the North place their trust in me to lead them, and I will continue to do so as well as I can. That's fair. It's also fair to point out that I'm the rightful Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. Who cares, really, at this point? King of the Northernmost Kingdom, you are in open rebellion. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. What are you running in here for? What? What happened? You must forgive my manners. You'll both be tired after your long journey. We'll have baths drawn for you and supper sent to your rooms. Am I your prisoner? Mm. Not yet. What did this happen? Our Ironborn and Dornish allies were attacked en route to Dawn. And? Two or three ships escaped. The rest sunk or captured. Ilaria and the Sand Snakes dead or captured. The Greyjoys dead or captured. Stupid. Jumped off the dog on a ship. Your sister's dead. You're on us. Hmm. I couldn't save her. I tried. Really? <laughs> Ain't time I not tried. Tried. By jumping over? That's your saving? He looked better. We have to do it in time. Ah. They sure do like throwing food, don't they? Yeah. They ain't gonna be sad. They ain't gonna be... When they in a famine, they, they ain't gonna, they're gonna wish they ain't throw that food. Did you see little Theon's face right before he jumped over, boy? <laughs> what a twat. I don't understand the concept of these people who Cersei has no concern for none whatsoever. She'll blow y'all up just like she did the last few. Few hundred. Mm. Now she gonna marry his dumb tail? He just as ugly as I don't know what. Please accept this gift on behalf of all of your loyal subjects in the Iron Islands. I give you what no other man could give. Justice for your murdered daughter. <clears throat> You've proven yourself the greatest captain on the 14 seas. And a true friend to the crown. You deserve more than a true friend. And you deserve a proper reward for your heroism. You shall have what your heart desires. <clears throat> When the war is won. Yeah, you ugly dog. You look like a... just ugly. We're on Greyjoy commanding our naval forces. And Jaime Lannister leading our armies. The sons and daughters of Westeros shall defend our country. I don't like her being in black all the time. Love of the people. I suppose you wouldn't know. The same mob spattered my sister not long ago. And if you turn on us... I will cheer to see your head mounted on a spike. All yours. If you have any advice at all, I would love to hear it. Advice? Does she like it gentle or rough? A finger in 
the bomb. <laughs> Not now. We'll talk later. Oh, I can't stand him. <laughs> Jimmy should have him killed. I want you to know I understand. I was there that day when Sir Gregor crushed your lover's head. Oberyn looked beautiful that day. He really did. Even Sir Gregor couldn't stop him. If only he hadn't taunted him. Hmm. Yeah. Exactly what I mean. Now he's buried somewhere. And here's Sir Gregor stronger than ever. That must be difficult for you. When my daughter was taken from me, my only daughter. You can't imagine how that feels unless you've lost a child. She was mine. And you took her from me. Why did you do that? Hmm. Doesn't matter now. Your daughter's a beauty too. Perfect Dornish beauty. Sorry, I can't understand you. That gag makes it impossible to understand what you're saying. It must be frustrating. You chose to murder my daughter. You must have felt powerful after you made that choice. Do you feel powerful now? Dorn ain't gonna have nobody, no queen, no king to murder, huh? How to destroy Ilaria Sand, the woman who murdered my only daughter. I thought about having Sir Gregor crush your skull the way he did Oberyn's. It would be poetic, I suppose, but fast, too fast. I thought about having him crush your daughter's skull. She's so beautiful. I thought of this lovely face cracking open like a duck egg. No, it's just not right. Hmm. Mama. Mama. Hmm. Clever enough to learn what poison you used to murder Marcella. The long goodbye, was that it? The long farewell. That's the one. Die. <laughs> Mm -mm. Your daughter will die here in this cell. And you will be here watching when she does. You'll be here the rest of your days. You will live to watch your daughter rot. Mm -hmm. All the while contemplating the choices you've made. Make sure the guards change the torches every few hours. I don't want her to miss a thing. Wow. It's pretty vicious. <laughs> She always vicious. When she die, gonna die. I mean, like. No. I just don't want to stand these two idiots. And nobody does. She an idiot. When I was like, now what if she had was it still on her? Oops, this thing gonna fall off. I mean, like, what? I mean, shut up. Nasty. Why y'all ain't afraid that they gonna see y'all? You don't care? One can see us like this. I am the queen of the seven kingdoms. I'll do as I please. Mm. Forgive me, Your Grace. The visitor from Bravos has arrived. Good. And we'll need fresh sheets for the bed. Are they all cutting their hair like her now? My condolences, Your Grace, on the death of your son. From all reports, he was a fine young man. The Iron Bank appreciates how you cast off the yoke of superstition, freeing the crown from elements who sought to subvert the rule of law. The destruction of the Sept of Baylor was a tragic accident. And you are now engaged in a conflict on several fronts. We both know how expensive war can be. And we both know gold wins war. Your wealthiest allies, the Tyrells, are now your enemies. You are surrounded on all sides by rivals for the throne. And the Iron Bank wants to bet on a winner. They don't make bets. The war's already begun. I've drawn first blood. I decapitated the Dornish snake. My armada owns the Narrow Sea. Euron Greyjoy's armada owns the Narrow Sea. Euron Greyjoy is loyal to me. For now. <laughs> For real. Argarian has three full-grown dragons. How well do wooden ships fare against fire-breathing dragons? But let's talk about the Targaryen girl. I'm guessing the Iron Bank invested considerable gold in the slave trade. How are your profits? The slave trade has entered a downturn, it's true. The Lannisters owe the Iron Bank quite a lot of money, but Lannisters always pay their debts. <laughs> your father's daughter, indeed. Give me a fortnight. Stay in King's Landing as my honored guest. And when you return to Bravos, I swear to you, my debt will be paid in full. Yes, you gonna kill him? He can just chunk him on my dog. <laughs> I came down here to brood over my failure to predict the Greyjoy attack. You're making it difficult. You look a lot better brooding than I do. You make me feel like I'm failing at brooding over failing. I'm a prisoner on this island. 
wouldn't say you're a prisoner on this island. Yeah, because y'all took our boat. You took my ship. I wouldn't say we took your ship. I'm not playing word games with you. <laughs> the dead are coming for us all. Why don't you figure out what to do about my missing fleet and murdered allies? And I'll figure out what to do about your walking dead men. It's hard for me to fathom. It really is. If someone told me about the White Walkers and the Night King... I think they're great. You probably don't believe me. I do, actually. You didn't before. I'm asking if there's something I can do to help you. Dragon glass. Yes, volcanic glass. He says you have a tremendous amount of it here. Why are we talking about glass? Which is why I was speaking to Jon Snow, a potential ally. <laughs> she too young. King in the North want. Was she power went her head already? Weapons that kill White Walkers and their foot soldiers. And what do you think about this army of the dead? I believe him. But a wise man once said that you should never believe a thing simply because you want to believe it. Hmm. So? Are you trying to present your own statements as ancient wisdom? Never do that. To you. <laughs> the reason I believe Jon Snow is because he's here. Let him mine the dragon glass. If he's wrong, it's worthless. <laughs> what was that Sir Davos said? About taking a knife in the heart for his people? You must allow them the flights of fancy. It's dreary in the north. Like you gonna, you gonna burn me alive? Amazing thing to see. I named them for my brothers, Viserys and Rhaegar. They're both gone now. You lost two brothers as well. People thought dragons were gone forever, but here they are. Perhaps we should all be examining what we think we know. You've been talking to Tyrion. He enjoys talking. We all enjoy what we're good at. No, I don't. You know I'm not going to let Cersei stay on the Iron Throne. I never expected that you would. And I haven't changed my mind about which kingdoms belong to that throne. I haven't either. <laughs> I will allow you to mine the dragon glass and forge weapons from it. Any resources or men you need, I will provide for you. Why? Thank you. I thought he was going to say why. So you believe me then about the Night King and the Army of the Dead? No. You'd better get to work, Jon Snow. Well, went to fail. Why did I know it was coming to this? 4,000 bushels, my lady. What does that mean? For the current occupants of the castle, it's enough food for a year. And what's the longest winter in the past 100 years? Uh, I'm not entirely certain. I'll check Mesa Lewin's records. You're telling me we don't have enough food? Especially not if the armies of the North come back to defend Winterfell. Most likely not. And we must prepare for that eventuality. We need to start building up our grain stores with regular shipments from every keep in the north. The command suits you. The northerners are all facing north, worried about the threat from beyond the wall. So they should be. I know Cersei better than anyone here. If you turn your back on her... You don't know Cersei better than anyone here. I only meant to say... That the woman who murdered my mother, father and brother is dangerous. Thank you for your wise counsel. <laughs> don't fight in the north or the south. Fight every battle, everywhere, always, in your mind. I don't like him. He's like a, ugh, like a bug or net just keep on coming around. This is happening all at once. Live that way and nothing will surprise you. Everything that happens will be something that you've seen before. Lady Sansa, <laughs> at the gate. I don't like him. I don't like him at all. <laughs> Where are you at? She taking a side road or something? So no, I like Winterfell. What am not coming to this down? I wish John were here. I need to speak to him. You're Lord of Winterfell now. I can never be Lord of Winterfell. I'm the Three-Eyed Raven. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Bran. I'm sorry for all that's happened to you. I'm sorry it had to happen here. <laughs> yes, he do know. It was so beautiful that night. And you were so beautiful. In your white wedding dress. Oh. Oh. I guess he like. Back inside, Bran. 
I think your sister I hate it's real. <laughs> no longer appears to be active. One could almost be forgiven for thinking that the entire upper layer of diseased skin was debrided and the underlying region treated with some sort of unguent. Don't know anything about that. I just started feeling better. I assumed it was the rest that did it. <laughs> the chamber is needed for the infectious, which you are no longer. Tali, I'd like to speak with you in my study this evening. <laughs> you gonna get in trouble, say. I suppose I'll find out this evening. <laughs> go cure yourself. Now you get to come back. Go back to Daenerys. Daenerys Stormborn convinced me otherwise. The only place for me is back with her. <laughs> of course. Her. And you. Your father saved me more than once. It's the least I could do. Perhaps our paths will cross again. I hope they do. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> See, I'm even kind of hissing in at first, but All right, let me put my gloves on. Check the case. Who told you to treat him? No one. You did. You. But you treated him anyway. Mm-hmm. I forbade it because it is dangerous and rarely successful. It's a meticulous, difficult procedure. Many maesters whose chains are heavy with healing links have attempted it and failed. If you succeeded. I read the book and followed the instructions. Are you telling me that people can't read? That's why they I mean, that's the only difference I would say. That man is alive because of you. You should be proud. I got to see your way. Thank you, Archmaster. Come here. All these manuscripts and scrolls are rotting away. I need you to make copies of them. You are expecting a reward. <laughs> the reward is not being immediately expelled from the Citadel. <laughs> I got paper mites? I guess. Greyjoy's fleet and sink it. Your Grace, he's already destroyed a good portion of our fleet to send our remaining ships after him. I'm not talking about sending our ships after him. Mm -hmm. The dragon, yes. He'd be flying around the open seas alone for who knows how long. I wouldn't be alone. I would have Drogon, Viserion, and Rhaegal. What can anyone do to them? They can still do something to you. It only takes one arrow. It's too great a risk. You're too important. What about Castly Rock? The Unsullied will be there soon. <laughs> no one has ever taken the rock. The Lannister army is still the army my father built. Well trained and well provisioned. Ten <laughs> oh, Jesus. They will be ready. <laughs> the gates of Casterly Rock are impregnable. <laughs> the fight up the walls will be hard. We will be at a disadvantage. Mm. Interesting thing about my father. He built our house up from near ruin, but he didn't build the sewers. That was beneath him. So he gave the job to the lowest person he could find. Mm. <laughs> okay. So in the process of building the sewers, I threw in something for myself. Oh, that was his little place right there. Yeah. Ooh, Jesus. They will face the bulk of the Lannister forces. They will be outnumbered. They will have less armor and fewer weapons. But my sister's armies fight for her out of fear. The Unsullied will be fighting for something greater. They will be fighting for freedom and the person who gave it to them. Mm. Wow. Mm. She's gonna be pissed, huh? She's gonna be pissed. Where are they?
took it but we about to take all y'all where are they where are the rest of the lannisters well fine out what were they what are you i shall hate it what's the name oh hmm what is that Oh, they're going to, uh, uh, what's her name, Olena? Yeah, Olena. Olena? Wow. Cersei didn't play, huh? Nope. They took all their... That's how she, yeah, she's taking all her gold and everything. That's how she's going to pay off her debt. That's some bull crap. It's done. It is. Did we fight well? Uh, as well as could be expected. It was never our forte. Golden roses, indeed. Mm. Your brother and his new queen thought you would be defending Casterly Rock. Well, the truth is, Casterly Rock isn't worth much anymore. So you just let them take it. For now, they won't be able to hold it. And you took your army, your real army, and went to where they weren't. As Rob Stark did to me at Whispering Wood. There are always <laughs> lessons in failures. Yes. You must be very wise by now. <laughs> if he was so clever, why didn't he take High Garden the moment your gold mines ran dry? I suppose I'll be able to ask him myself soon enough. <laughs> How will you do it? With that sword? That was Joffrey's sword, wasn't it? Not that he ever used it. What did he call it? Widow's Whale. He really was a cunt, wasn't he? <laughs> She's a monster, you do know that. Do you? I'm sure. You love her. <clears throat> you really do love her. You poor fool. She'll be the end of you. Possibly. <clears throat> How will it happen? Cersei had several ideas. <clears throat> I talked her out of those. Hmm. What is it? Will there be pain? No, I made sure of that. That's good. Hmm. I'd hate to die like your son. Hmm. At my neck, foam and bile spilling from my mouth. He don't kill her. A shocking scene. Not at all what I intended. It was your brother. Hmm. Wow. He don't kill her. I wanted to know it was me. Hmm. He don't kill her. He don't kill her. He don't stab her anyway. Hear me. Oh. You got a heart, huh? Hmm. Oh my God. Tell Cersei, see, please tell Cersei, because Cersei thinks it was Tyrion. It wasn't Tyrion, but he did kill your daddy, oh, which yeah. your daddy deserved to be killed. Yeah. I mean, for real. But he just set in motion of uh, you taking the phone. So she should be happy that he killed, because daddy was going to have, uh, daddy was going to have her married Lordis, right? Yeah. So, didn't we know for sure yeah. that it was interior. Cersei's but, but, but regardless, regardless, Cersei hates Tyrion. Yeah. So, Jeremy can take solace in the fact that Tyrion's where he's at coming against the Lannister name because of Cersei. Uh, it had nothing to do with and his dad. Yeah. But really, Cersei. Yeah, because the dad didn't want I mean, well, yeah, dad was gonna have him killed. That he had dead, but at the same time, it's because of Cersei. Cersei uh accused him. Yeah. 
of killing. She didn't get no facts or nothing because of her hatred was so strong for her little brother. And then if she hadn't uh, told Tywin about Shay, Shay would probably have had to testify. Oh. And that's what made Tyrion do the trial by combat. So he's going to probably go to do the wall thing before that. Yeah. Like Jamie told him. But, but I, yeah. It's crazy. And Cersei, she has became a very strategic person in military strategy. Yeah. She ain't got nobody else counseling her. You see that, right? Yeah. Just, she has, so she must have been sitting up in, but well, she was counseling to the king. Her father was pretty strategic, and she listened to him for 40 years, she said. Like she told Jamie, you think I listened to father for 40 years and didn't learn anything? Yeah, she so, showed it. She, she's, she's a very uh, military strategist. Yeah, and then she... Well, in war. And she thinks differently than other people. She just wants to kill everybody. Other people, like Tyrion's trying to convince Daenerys not to kill everybody. So well, he just, just needs to let Daenerys go and not go on, on over there and, and burn that whole place down and build it up for her people. I'm yeah. just saying, you know. Because, you know, Cersei and I already helped Daenerys in that aspect anyway by burning down the temple. Blow, not burning it down, blowing it up. <laughs> With what they call that again? Wildfire. Wildfire. And and Theon's uncle, I cannot stand him. He on my list, y'all. What's his name? Euron. Euron is on my list, y'all. I can't stand him. He's Euron. like a he's a I don't know. A, along with Bailey. Okay, Cersei. This is the list. Cersei. Yep. Or Baelish. Yep. You, you run, you run. Um, I can't see anybody else that I, I just like that strongly, but yeah, those are three big ones. Well, wait, hold on. You run should be right there, he's number two. Let's switch him and Bayless from two to three. Bayless is like a little net, you know, when you got the he fruit does, flies, does, that's always, fly all over the place. Just that's what. Lord Bailey's is. He need to die. So does you run. I really can't stand him. He is ugly. And he just he just rubs me the wrong. He just a foul, foul, filthy person. He really is. It's like he ain't got no reasons to nobody. No, he's, he's always about, he just he's about for himself. Yeah. He got no allegiance to nobody. He's so he will screw Cersei over the first chance he gets. First chance he gets, but you know Cersei knows that. But so she's got a she's trying to play him. That's why she's like, "You'll have it after the war is won. Like you can marry me after the war is won." But if he married him now, he, she probably knows that he would just kill her in her sleep yeah. and take over the, over the, the kingdom. King. Yeah, she ain't stupid. And he he mad he he a he a mad person anyway. Yeah, he crazy. So is Cersei. So they all could be called mad kings. Well, oh, Cersei is worse than the mad king because all he he did, he burned a few people. She like blew up half. Well, he only burned a few people because the rebellion. Yeah, he wanted to burn the whole city. Cersei didn't. Yeah, so, so she pretty much blew up the whole city. Yeah. And I just don't understand how the people can love her or love anything that she does. It's like, are y'all brainwashed or something? I mean, come on now. And they have no loyalty either no, because they, they, they was fine with the uh, what's this, the sparrow yeah. whooping her through, you know, having her go through the, the, the walk of shame. You think they hate her because they love Marjorie. Yeah, you all that the, the stuff that they was doing when Cersei was walking, they have no loyalty. Therefore, uh, she don't care about them. But y'all she, 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 caring for the the, the queen, winning side. The, queen the, the winning side. Queen. The winning side. Because right now Cersei is the winning side. From my view, yeah. Cersei is the winning side. So everybody's gonna bet on her. And let's talk about Daenerys. <laughs> Daenerys is arrogant, and she's getting older. As we in season seven, 
she's not naive anymore. She's just arrogant because she has three dragons. Not knowing that Cersei has built a big tail with like a 50 cal, wooden 50 cal. <laughs> big old crossbow. Yeah. Company. To to handle her dragons. But I literally, it's going to take probably about 10 people to pull that thing back far enough. Maybe more than that. To pull that thing back far. Well, she, all she had to do was hit a button, right? I think they got a, like a Wine and, uh, crank on the side. Some, the but, and I can understand because now I'm looking at it. The dragons have to get close enough to the people to burn them up. Mm-hmm. So that means they have to get low enough. Man, I just don't. It's yeah. crazy. It's crazy. I, I, man, Jon Snow, he shouldn't have. I'm gra- glad Bran is back at the oh, Winterfell. Now, I, where are you at? Is she taking a side trip? What? Because <laughs> if he made it there, why couldn't she make it? Is she closer than he is? Right? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Where are you at? You know, the Castle Black is closer than the that little Ian and where uh, in, the, in the river run or wherever she was at. Yeah. Well, I might think, where are you at? Brand is back home. She's you know, on her way, I guess. Well, she need to hurry up and get there because she pissing me off. She really is. I mean, don't be sightseeing, you know, because the last time I saw you, was the, the rules let you go. Mm-hmm. So, you need to keep going, keep going, keep going. And then Jon Snow is at what? At Dragonstone. Yeah. Uh, now he's getting the opportunity to. She's gonna let him mind the dragon glass, right? right? But I, him being a me, I would have been a me to the nerves if I, my life depended on it. I'm just saying because you could have took you here at Dragonstone. You could have took. Uh, Nice landing already with some doggone dragons. Mm-hmm. They even go out to the sea and burn up Euron boats. You know, I'm just saying. But Cersei is a she's a military strategic person because she ain't got the Doran, she ain't got the Ironclad, and she ain't got the uh, what's yeah, silly. No. I'm talking about the people she and Cersei. What about it? The people she and went against that was with Daenerys. The three people. Like oh, that's I said, what I'm saying. The Unsullied. Yeah. Grey Worm in there. He not, he's not paying attention. The three people who got with Daenerys, right? Which is Dorn, uh, the Ironclad, right? And the third person, oh, Olinda, Olinda, whatever her name is, the third people. She is. She has taken out the nearest three people that came along her side. Right? That's who I'm talking about. I ain't talking about the unsullied. We know the nearest got the unsullied and stuff, but I'm talking about well, they got the three, the, the military strategy, uh, strategists. Her, her strategy was taking out the three people that allied against her. With Daenerys, right? Okay, that's what I'm talking about. See, of course, people are gonna die. You're gonna have people on both sides that's gonna die in the war, and of course, in Daenerys' side, it's the unsullied. So her group getting smaller and smaller. I'm just saying, and with nice uh, King's Landing. All she got to do is pick them people off the, the streets, put a sword and shield on them, and they're going out fighting for her. So, but Daenerys have no people to take place of the ones who have died. No, does she? No, she doesn't. Them Dardraki people. Where they at? That's all I'm saying. Yeah, it was just the unsullied that went into the castle block. That's a rock, whatever block, rock, whatever. Castle block. Yeah. And so, I'm just saying. Yeah. 
it doesn't look very good for Daenerys. That's all I'm saying. It doesn't look good for her. And they're and all around don't look for no good for nobody if the White Walkers come. So, you know, unless Jon Snow decide to do the dragon thing, get enough dragon glass to pass it out. I'm just saying. Once they go in and they take a city, a, a town, they just ride, raise them people back up to fight for them. It's like a not ending war. I mean, they're like, well, you, they're, they're, they grow in numbers. How you fight them? No matter if you kill them, they just, yeah, well, they whatever grow, they kill me, they just replace them with your dead people. Yeah, they grow in numbers. And then you got to have like special weapons to kill them. So, yeah. Very interesting because we haven't, they haven't came. Winter is here, but they haven't came seen yet. What episode is this? Four? Three. Three. So, episode three of season seven, they haven't came on scene yet. So, well, like Uncle Benjamin said, there's magic in the wall to keep them from crossing. So, they still got to figure out how to get by the wall. The big wall that John Snow did manage. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah, you didn't hear that? No. Benjamin was talking to Bran that there's runes carved into the wall that keep uh dead, the, keep the dead from crossing. Oh. Well, yeah. So Daenerys need to go and help uh, Jon Snow. She need to bend to him. Bend and need to him. I'm just saying. Right? So the Cersei. Yeah. Yeah, because if they get past that wall, he that always was saying if they get past that wall, it, it don't get matter who. Wall, like, wow. Okay. So, thank you guys for joining us on our journey. If this is your first time, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. As always, leave us the thumbs up and your comments. Until next time, bye-bye.